Uh, hi again, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com, and I realized after I made my last tutorial about Mandible 3D and that PhotoFly app that I used a kind of a dark, hard to see object, and uh, I just wanted to give a few more examples of the the uh, meshes and textures that I've gotten out of this process. There's quite a bit of detail in these meshes. I think tonight what I'm going to do is try a high resolution one to see what effects that gives me. Here's one of my first tests where I didn't get enough shots from underneath the structure I was looking at. You can see how the texture map really kind of brings out the details, just like with any 3D model. This one's going to make a great cliff wall. It's where my textures go. So there's a few more examples so you can see what or so you'll know what to expect if you're gonna try this technique on your own. It's not perfect but I was really surprised at the details that it can squeeze out.